Welcome or welcome back, it's Sam. I have quite a lot of things that need done. I need to clean up my plant room slash laundry room. We added a new member to our family. I'm gonna introduce you to him in just a few, but he has been kind of wrecking havoc on my plants and in my plant room. So we, I will introduce you to him. And then yeah, I have a stand to take down and put up and we're gonna be outside for a little bit. I just. It's gonna be a planty update slash chore vlog. So if you wanna hang out with me and do some plant chores, see some updates, hang tight and we will jump right into it. Look over all the mess. Right now, I am sweeping. When I tell you my entire plant room floor has just been covered in dirt and dead leaves and plant droppings. It's been crazy. Um, I mean, it's bad anyway, but when you have a pet that is constantly just like on crack, running around, running on top of the shelves, knocking plants over, breaking pots, breaking plants, it's been, it's been crazy. Let me go find the culprit and introduce you to him. And we're gonna get busy. Um, some of these plants look rough, I'm just gonna warn you. There's things I have to tell you as I'm showing them, so we're just gonna save that for then. I'll be right back. You can't even see him because he blends in with my shirt. This is my new child. This is Stevie. Steven, when he's being a menace. This is Stevie. He wants to get down and be rotten and be ornery. Look at the camera, Stevie. Say hello. He is the polar opposite of Bindi, our cat that we've had for going on three years now. Polar opposite. And yeah, he likes to mess up my plants basically and everything break everything that he can get his little paws on laying right by his mess for every plant that was in this window up here which you'll see in a moment he knocked off all right i need my big broom and dustpan i think brp my big giant Thai constellation 
that I've raised from a tiny baby for like six years or something. And it was sitting in a pl this plant stand over here up off the floor in a big giant pot. And yeah, he got up in it and knocked it over and completely detached the entire plant from the stem and the roots. The stem and the roots are in the pot still over there. I'm going to keep that. And then the only thing I could find big enough to propagate him in for like a quick fix was this little glass. It's actually a trash can for my laundry room. I've got him in water in here. Oh shit. But we're actually gonna have to remove a few of his leaves that are yellowing. Change the water, all that good stuff. So let me just get one thing at a time. I don't know what to do to keep my cats out of my windows. Because this one right here, this is a, a south facing window. It's a great window. And as you can see, I really can't keep any plants in it. So I don't, because of this, um, I'm going to be taking down this giant rack here tonight. And I have another plant stand, a little bit nicer, a lot smaller, but here, and I'm just going to rearrange this entire area. So I am happy about that. So maybe I can actually utilize this window a little bit better. And potentially keep the cats out of it. They have their own windows, okay? We have a we have a giant cat mansion in a south facing window that I can't use because it's on the stairway. So stop, Steven. Stevie. Oh my gosh. I should have named you Dennis the Menace. I had to put some shoes on my feet, my house slippers or something. I guess once we take this down, I can go ahead and sweep and mop like under those bottom shelves down there. Because right now I cannot access them. I have this. So we're in the house next door actually that my husband is remodeling. He was gonna have to throw this out. And he called and told me to come see if I want it. And this is a stand exactly like one I have in my plant room right now. Works pretty well. These are pretty expensive, actually. This is a four tier, four shelf. But she needs cleaned up. She's dirty. That's what I'm gonna do. Also, here in a few weeks, they're gonna be redoing our entire deck porch area we got a bunch of stuff to like get rid of out here so I really plan on doing a lot more out here this summer um maybe some outdoor stuff too because I have a couple really nice decent sized flower beds so We'll go take the other one down and make room for this one and see what we come up with. All right, y'all. Look. Look, look, look. My poor, poor Tycon. But I think I have an exciting update. This is my first time checking on it since the incident. It's been about two weeks ago. And I mean, I've obviously checked on the plant, but checking in the water, the roots, because everything was just kind of crammed in there. I just had to find a spot for it real quick. Honestly, the plant is already looking better than she did when she was attached to her roots. So maybe she needed this. I mean, 
I don't know. And she did just put out a new leaf right before the incident. This is it. I think that it's one of my very first unboxings getting this plant. I imported it from Thailand for like a hundred bucks. And uh, it was just tiny. Like the leaves were like this big around, no fenestrations. And so I'm quite proud of this plant. I'm definitely quite attached to it as well. Um, and I cannot bear anything to happen to it. It's very sentimental to me, if anything. So we are going to snip off these because this did happen just since the accident. That's what we're going to refer to it as. And then we're going to look at the node. So let's see. We're going to right there. And at least these are both old leaves. Oh, look at that. It just pulls right off. Well, this one probably will too then. Oh, yep. Holy moly. Okay. The root progress in the last two to three weeks. Okay. All right. We have several things going on here. What is, oh my gosh. Okay. So we have good and bad news. I just peeked in as I was bringing it in and all I seen was good, but caveat. All right, here she is. So these are the aerial roots, which obviously I left on. They were still attached. This is where the snap happened. I am noticing that these are rotting, the aerial roots. I'm glad I decided to pull it out today. This one might be okay. These two are mush. So we're going to cut those off, probably go up a little further. Probably put, do a peroxide soak or something on this, spray some fungicide, and then put it back. But we have plenty of new, healthy, look at those white roots, roots to, to save. Some of them are growing on this, so if the rest of the aerial roots begin to rot, I'll lose those. But the good thing is there's also new rootage uh, coming in from all of these nodes, not just the aerial roots. So that is a wonderful sign. Look how funky that looks. It almost gives me the heebie-jeebies because it looks like giant mealybugs or something all over the aerial roots, but that's just roots growing in. Pretty fantastic. Pretty cool. Okay, and I'm definitely going to have to, I'm definitely going to have to sanitize these, disinfect them when we are done. So first we're going to, no, first we're just going to chop where I can see, past where I can see the rod is. This doesn't, well, it seems to be starting. And it's probably because I haven't changed this water since I put it in there. It's my fault. Take this off right here. So satisfying to pull off the crusty uh, old sheets. I have a garbage disposal, so I just kind of yeah all right let's wash this area really well yes I'm going to use dish soap lukewarm water definitely feels really slimy That seems to be a lot better. I would like to hang on to these roots, aerial roots if I can, but it's not a huge deal if I lose them. They have done, done some sort of job up until this point anyway, so. All right, I'm gonna clean this out really well with soap and water and make a new batch of water. Um, and I'm going to have to like actually check in on this plant every couple of days now that I know that there's been rot beginning. Oh, there's that. Ew. I think I'll also put some fertilizer or plant probiotics in this water. And I, I yeah, it's all settled down in the bottom. Gross. Pull that guy out a moment. Ew. 
Ew. Really quickly, I guess I could show this. So this is my little wireless microscope I got off Amazon for like 20 bucks, I think. And it's actually really awesome. I got this because I wanted to make sure when I'm getting beneficial bugs, uh, specifically my beneficial nematodes because they are microscopic, to treat the soil of my plants for fungus gnat because I typically use them seasonal. And I recently got some. So I got this right before I placed my order so that I can make sure they are alive when they arrive and it's not just like a waste, you know, because you can't see them moving without a microscope. Um, so I actually have some pretty cool footage of me checking out the beneficial nematodes with this guy. Um, I'm going to put that on the screen if I haven't already. Uh, you can actually see the little tiny worms, microscopic worms. You can see them jumping around and moving in the dust that they come in with this and it's pretty cool i have to say so i hope you enjoy that footage uh if you get the heebie-jeebies easily i apologize it gives me the heebie-jeebies too not gonna lie but it's also pretty cool and pretty educational so my beneficial nematodes this time were definitely alive and are doing their job and we love to see that We gotta go to this. It's birthday party and they're having a nerf gun battle. Alright, you come do the rest. I got the plants. You come do the rest. Okay, mercy buddy. Come here. Poor thing. Looks like shit. All right, y'all, it is a mess. Everything's a mess and it's dark, but it's the following day. Can you hear the dirt crunching under my shoes? Needless to say, I just ordered a new vacuum because the one we have just doesn't quite cut it. And this kitten, I'm telling you, we got the closet rack is what it was. The closet rack, portable closet rack out, it's gone. And here's the new stand I've got cleaned up. And I have a three tier orange stand I'm going to put over here. This table. No.
Okay, we are making progress. Got the bar up. I wish it was black. I may paint it black later because our trimming and everything in our home is black. <laughs> but he put it a little bit forward so that the plants that I hang here won't hang down on the plants on this top shelf. So I'm excited to use it. Looks pretty good. And then down here we've got a very fat kitty. And we have the closet that I'm working on. It's much bigger than it appears um, on camera, but we do have a few toy gifts in here put back for birthdays and such. Uh, this is a part of the portable closet that we took down and got rid of. I decided to keep this portion of it to use in this closet just to get a little bit more organized and have a place to put things out of sight, <laughs> out of mind. Just got a real nice hefty watering. So we're going to try to hang them on our bar. Uh, I'm not sure for sure how much weight it can hold, but... And these are all freshly watered, so of course they're more heavy than they would be. We have cross petiolata. <laughs> Something like that. Lots of new growth, lots of new leaves. Variegated Hindu rope. Um, both of these plants really need repotted, up-potted, but I'm going to have to find some bigger hanging baskets for them because I do want them to continue hanging. So, let's see here. Don't really know how much weight this guy can hold, especially with these plants being like heavy because they're soaking wet and they do have nematodes in them this is my dyskidia one of my dyskidia and it is absolutely nuts it's completely um grown and attached itself to this macrame on this little plant table but it desperately needs to come out like it's all roots there's hardly any soil in the pot I've had him for many years and I've never repotted him. I don't know how I'm gonna get him out of here, but I'm gonna sit down and do that. Probably this weekend. Oh wait, this plant has to have an extra a hook and it does not. Oh, I'm gonna say, I know that I do have some, like this one, is this little hook right here. Oh, that's not even like big enough. I'm not sure what Jason did with the ones that were on the old stand. Dang. This can't even go up there right now. This Hoya snowball. Have this hook right here actually oh. oops this hook well that mm. a little risky but hey it works okay That maybe could work. Um, trying to envision who I want to go where. Let's see. Let's sit there. No.
these all need repotted. Specifically the small tiny ones that look hella dehydrated, yeah. This weekend we're gonna try to get to that. I don't think I got footage of it, but this Hoya, what Hoya are you? Hoya Croniana Silver, I think. I started noticing an issue with it. Basically its roots are all dying and the whole plant was deteriorating. So I cut off and saved just now, whatever I could. Um, so I'll show you real quick. We have, and you can see the leaves are looking a little wrinkly, but I think I can get them rehydrated. Um, if we look at the back though, there's tons of really nice looking aerial roots at each node. So that is a good, good thing. And there is a secondary vine growing off of this one right here. It also has aerial roots. Okay, so we have that one. We have another one that's kind of similar, not quite as large. Um, aerial roots and the secondary vine starting off right here. And then I have this little teeny bopper right here that we're also going to try to save. So we're going to put moss. It's really crappy moss. It's not good stuff but it's all I have I'm gonna order some good stuff and then we'll swap them maybe um, I'm gonna put moss in this little pot and I'm going to lay all these pretty little cuttings on the top of the moss and then I'm going to put it in a ziploc bag and the intention is that all of these nodes at each leaf will root down in and it'll be nice and full and then it can start branching off and hopefully become a full plant yet again There we are. We're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag and yeah, I'll keep an eye on it and hopefully we get a new plant out of this. All right, now we have my beautiful Gigantium right here. It is getting quite giant. I'll give it to him. Um, but if we look down here, there's, I don't know if y'all can see, a few old yellow leaves. Oh, we also have this but I think all the predatory mites are out of this now it's been weeks so cut these bad boys off oh that one just pulled off Ugh. the humidifier is right in my face chewy it's a lot better hey guys okay i'm gonna ask that you please look over this section right here because keep in mind this is also our laundry room okay so i'm trying to get caught up on all this but look at this beautiful jose bueno my baby okay this is my child we have a lot of nice plants over here that i really haven't been showing but i'm gonna do updates really soon um so Okay, I just wanted to give one final look at how everything's coming along. So I basically moved the cats out because, yeah, they're just destroying all my plants. And I can't have that. So their cat boxes, their food, everything is downstairs in our foyer area, I guess you could say. They have, like, their own cat condo. And then they come up the stairs to the landing. And there's their big cat tower. It's great. I don't have to smell the litter boxes up here. I don't have to deal with litter everywhere. And the cats don't have a reason to be in here. 
but they still will come when I leave the door open. Trust and believe. If we look down here, you can see Stevie has not really been knocking plants off the shelves lately like and killing them, but he has been getting on my bottom shelves where you can see I have a lot of pots stored and he'll knock over like this new mess right here I'm about to clean up. He'll knock over pots that have just soil in them and um, but it, it's it's getting better, okay? This is our little solution for the time being. Here's what it's looking like over here. I like it quite a lot. Hung my little um, hummingbird guy right there. And yeah, I'm gonna put more plants on here probably eventually if it can hold the weight. I have these little stands going on over here. Um, this beauty right here. Ooh, we love her. Yeah, so we have light coming in from this south facing window and then we have grow lights, of course. It's a work in progress, but I think it's coming along. And now this wall has opened up. That's just a little laundry bin that I'm also really using for plants. I may eventually get a potting bench to put on this wall. Uh, that's my goal, but we'll see, we'll see. But that's a little update in my laundry room slash plant room. All right, I want to show you guys really quickly. So the stairway is not the prettiest part of our home. It's, yes, yeah, so look over that. If you come down to our first little landing here, you can see their massive cat tower. And then you take a turn to the left down into our main entryway. And they have their boxes and their food. You can see they're quite content. Um, yeah, so they have this entire part of the house to their to their selves. And I'm sorry, but for cats, it's quite a lot of space. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you again soon in my next one. I have a fun shopping video, plant shopping video coming next. So, bye.